video today, show you guys how to silicon for noobs that wanting to silicon their kitchen tiles or bathroom tiles. Now, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way of doing it. Now, a lot of people show you different techniques, paddle pop, sticky tape, and these tools here at the end. Um, short answer, those tools at the end work the best. Now, I have seen people try and just use these tools and only these two tools, no water. I'll explain why they um, chose to do that and I'll show you the reason why you shouldn't do that. Um, so I'll go through them all and show you all the pros and cons. So I'm using a, a grey silicon so you can see it come up on the white. Um, obviously if you're silicon you'd use white in this situation. Make sure you use the right wet areas uh, silicon for, for bathrooms and kitchens. They've got anti-moulding agents in there so it doesn't really um, show off as much. Cutting the tip off the end. Um, 45 degree angle works fine with paddle pop, sticky tape, but these tools here, I recommend doing a straight cut. Now, what you do is you find the, the tool that you want, uh, what will cover up the most coverage, put a couple mil on each side just so it has some good hold, that one there or that one there depending on which job you would like. Say if it's the 8 mil, you bring the 8 mil tool up to here and then you'd cut it off where you would need 8 mil straight like that that's a blunt Stanley knife so I'm gonna give this another crack there we go so that's 8 mil not a 45 degree angle you, you can do 45 with the other tools but if you want to know how to do it quick for noobs do that now let's start with over here when you're placing silicon down at a straight angle 45 degree angle you run it smooth this way this way here it fills in all the gaps underneath now people that just use uh, spray and a paddle pop this works well so apply some water and then you pull the bead across and it's a decent nice finish as you can see so that's with paddle pop that's quite good now the next one we're going to do with a bit of tape now this tape is quite large and I'm going to pump it a little bit more just so it can overfill onto the tape a little bit. Reason why you shouldn't use tape, I mean you can use water on top of it but most people just use tape. Um, I won't use my finger a number 10 just to show you guys the extreme of tape, just the extreme. So that's not really picking up, there we go. Now the reason why you shouldn't use tape, and it's important that you see these lineages here. So people that say don't use, use this tool without um, water, this is what happens. And this is the reason why I used grey silicon to show you this. Now no matter how good it looks here, there'll be thin silicon that runs along the top here. This may not be a massive issue, in appearance but when you come across all the grouted tiles it, it it's not great it gets in there it's a pain in the ass to clean and now I'll show you the reason why you shouldn't use tape because when you use tape and you pull it off right at the end the tape actually doesn't run smoothly it leaves this lip underneath it um, and depending on where you run the tape it could go higher or lower and if you rerun it it, um, your finger over it, it sort of like wrecks the whole purpose of using tape. So There's a lot of people that say don't use silic um, water with silicon and I'll show you the reason why. So you spray a bit of water on here, you apply some silicon, as you can see this silicon here is not really gluing at all and that's a problem when you when it comes to silicony if you don't use it in the right way silicon should be attached like this so if you're using water and silicon always handy to have some paper towel on hand so you can clean up those uh, quick mistakes that you do um, all right so that can become a problem when you silicon like this. So, say so let's dry up this section here. So 
So if you're running a bead of silicon and you don't apply good pressure and you leave little gaps like this, this is quite extreme, but it does happen. What happens is when you go to run water on it, you'll put water in between those gaps underneath there. And no matter how much you push on, no matter how much you push on, and it may look good, there's actually little gaps in between there where water and mold can go there and build up. So that's the con of using water. Um, if it's the silicon's not applied evenly along the back and use water, that can happen. But realistically, it shouldn't happen. Now, the best tool is these guys, but videos online show guys using these without water and they use them without water because of that effect but realistically if you're putting it on very carefully and slowly that won't happen and i'll show you the reason why you shouldn't use these without water so the exact same reason for the tape you might not see it as clearly on this this thing is especially when it comes to grout when you're running this and you use one of these tools use a smaller smaller run show you what happens see that that's what's going to happen they're using white silicon on white tiles and you can't actually see that from happening now just to show you I am going to go even harder and it looks like it's cleaned it all off but as you can see there's still what's the best way of silicon getting the way that I initially said use these tools use water and i'll show you how so i normally like that straight edge um, with the number eight but I'll, I'll do it with the curve to show you guys um, so you apply silicon straight take your time and run it across 45 degree angle and just build it across that's done next now that you ensured all the silicon is nicely firm there and that there's no gaps, use water and soap. Spray. Simple. Next, use the tool that you'll be using. I'm going to use a number eight. Push firmly against and pull across. Done. For the cleanest, nicest job, do it that way. Now, if you find, I'm going to muck this up a bit, you need to clean up bit of water use the edging tool and then you can run it across and it cleans up most of it now as you can see it's left a little bit left over because uh, the water wasn't actually there. it was under the bead of silicon but you can run the tool the opposite direction for a proper bond apply a minimum of two mils of silicon on either side you can buy the silicon tools in the link below and don't forget if you like my video, press that like and subscribe button.